Welcome to 47 Seconds. Monodrum. Hello boys and girls, I have me here with no not a soccer ball, I have a best song. He's so bad at juggling. You should have learned what monodrum is. Welcome back to Primetime. Today we're going to talk about how monodrummy is movement. Here are two different ways to juggle. They take a lot of hours to learn how to do well, but hopefully by the end of this video, you'll learn how they're both related to mathematics. Let's start with explaining the soccer ball. Let's go to the board. First of all, we need to talk about dessin. Dessin d'enfant is French for child's drawing. Not just any child's drawing though. There's some rules we have to keep in mind. First, there's only three items in our toolkit. White dots, black dots, and edges that connect those dots. When we connect the dots together, we have to make sure we don't do these three things. Cross edges, connect white dots to white dots, or connect black dots to black dots. We can do this in many ways. Here are some examples. What's interesting here is there's a special function called the belly map that corresponds to each descent. You can see that some belly maps are more complicated than others. We call them belly maps after the mathematician Gennady Belly. Also interesting is that we can draw a dessin on almost any surface. These here are drawn on the complex plane. These solids can also be constructed as dessin, and they also have corresponding belly maps. Now that we know what a dessin is, we're going to bring this full sphere. Do you remember the soccer ball from the beginning? It's actually a dessin too. It's technically the truncated icosahedron on the sphere. Here's a visualization of this now. We want to visualize our dessin on the sphere to better understand and study them. Some of our dessin can be directly plotted onto the sphere, like our soccer ball, whereas others need to be projected onto the sphere using stereographic projection. I'm going to pass it to Kendall to explain what it means to project a dessin from the complex plane onto the sphere. Thanks, Brian. Now, let's take the dessin d'enfant for the belly map mapping Z to its cube. The black vertex corresponds to the critical point at zero, and the white vertices correspond to the critical point at one. We know that this dessin is on the complex plane. However, because complex numbers cannot be plotted on the Riemann sphere, we must use a process called stereographic projection in order to place the dessin on the surface. Here's the general idea behind it. Take a Riemann sphere as well as the point at the North Pole. Identify the complex plane as that plane through the equator. We want to identify points on the sphere with points on the plane. Connect a point P on the surface of the sphere to the North Pole, which will be our point at infinity. This line will intersect the plane at a complex number. Conversely, if we start with a complex number, the line will intersect at some point through the sphere. Let's go back to our design. We know from our projection that the black vertex in the complex plane will map to the South Pole on the sphere, and the white vertices map to the point on the equator that perfectly intersect the complex plane. And there you have it. The dessin d'enfant placed on the surface of the Riemann sphere via stereographic projection. Next on Primetime, we'll have Taylor and Kayla discussing motion around these critical points. The evasive concept of monodrami. See you all then! Previously on Primetime, Brian mentioned that juggling has a place in mathematics. Let's take a look at this juggler and see what that means. Follow the path of each ball. Do they start and end at the same point? Are they heading in the same direction? These are just a couple of questions a mathematician would ask to understand the motion. Now, let's see how this relates to dessin d'enfant and monodromy. Earlier, Kendall projected the dessin d'enfant for the belly map Z cubed onto the sphere. Remember that every point on the sphere is a point on the complex plane, including the vertices on our dessin. The belly map associated to our dessin takes each of these points to its cube viewed as a number. In other words, beta is a map that sends points on the left sphere to points on the right. For each belly map, the black vertices map to the black vertex and the white vertices map to the white vertex. Furthermore, any loop on the right sphere can be pulled back to a series of paths on the left sphere. Now, Let's look at how these loops are related to juggling. Informally, the motion that you see on the left sphere, which corresponds to the loops on the right, is what we call monodromy. 
This motion should look familiar to the juggling video you just saw. Each blue ball on the left can be thought of as one of the balls of the juggler. Notice how the periodic motion on the left is similar to the juggling we saw before. The amazing thing here is, you should be able to identify any juggling trick as a monodromy of some belly map. Now, I'm going to pass it off to Taylor to talk about other loops on the sphere. Hey guys, let's look at a loop around z equals 1. This movement looks different, but it's associated to the same belly map, descent, and the same monodromy group. In fact, the loops we choose on the right determine the series of paths on the left, which is why we see different types of movements. In reality, we could have chosen any loop on the right-hand side, like this one. The path we had previously chosen was just an arbitrary one, in order to keep things simple. But again, the belly map, descent, and monodromy groups stay the same. Still, these new loops on the right will correspond to a new series of paths. Now let's turn our attention to what happens when we go through each critical value. Every belly map is defined with the critical values 0, 1, and infinity. By looking at loops that go through each critical values on the right, we can find information about the critical points on the left. This is because paths going through critical values on the right correspond to paths going through critical points on the left. These critical points are where you see the blue balls collapse together. All of this relates back to how we define belly maps, the descent, and the movement around the critical values, which is monodromy. So there you have it. Ultimately, monodromy is art, a beautiful ballet around critical points. Let's ask a few questions though. Where do we see monodromy in our daily life? Ballet? Juggling? Can monodromy describe all movement? What is monodromy? Where do we go from here? Thanks for tuning in to the 2019 edition of Prime Time. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Welcome back. It's prime time, baby. Lastly, we topped it off the list. You see, you see, you see, when you do clownery, boys and girls, the clown bites back. Now. <laughs>